Welcome back everyone. Recently Square Enix released a Dragon Quest Slime teapot on their store on PlayAsia or wherever. It's uh, only available in Japan and a lot of people online have noticed it, have been talking about it because of the way it looks. It looks like a little slime teapot. It looks just, it looks so cool. And everyone's like, oh man, I really want to see this. So I've gotten a lot of requests to show off the slime teapot in action. I'm not an I'm not an expert on making green tea or, or preparing it in the Kyusu teapot. This is a Kyusu teapot, by, by the way. It's a special type of teapot that's used in Japan to prepare loose green tea. So I've never really done this before, but I looked up some tutorials online on how to how to do it, and I'm gonna give it a try. And I'll show you guys an unboxing of the teapot, and you guys can get a closer look at how it looks and everything. It's a nice little item to have, and I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's jump right in. So let's take a quick look at the package here. So here is the slime teapot as I received it from PlayAsia. Comes in this nice little box. So I'm just gonna crack this open and this appears to be the lid for it. That's the lid for the teapot. That's nice. And inside the box, of course, is the slime kusu teapot itself. And it's a little bit smaller than you might expect. It's like a small teapot that has a little handle on the back also. So just as soon as we get this plastic off, we'll take a closer look at the slime teapot. And here it is. This is the slime teapot and it looks really nice. It looks, it's very, it's very nice looking. It feels really nice too. It's uh, made of clay it looks like. It has a little strainer on the inside as well. And here it is up close. It's got that Signature Dragon Quest slime smile on it and there's a lid and it looks just like a slime with a little teapot, uh, a little tea uh, spout coming out on the side. And if we zoom out, you can see how nice it looks. So look at that. It's not bad at all. And like I noticed earlier, there is a little strainer on the inside that holds the tea leaves themselves and you basically put the tea leaves into here so that it could brew while you're putting the boiling water inside. And that's the inside of the, the teapot. It's all blue on the inside and on the bottom there's a little, a little mark, a little seal. That's cool. So just another closer look at the teapot itself. I'm going to do a little 360 rotation. There's the handle on the back. And it looks really nice. It looks like it's very high quality. It's very nice. It's a nice teapot. So now, the teapot is not complete without having some cups to go with it. So I got some sl Smile Slime mugs to go with the teapot. So I got a King Slime and a Stack Slime mug that I'm going to be using to pour the tea into. And uh, here they are. These I got from Amazon, one from Amazon Japan and I got one from PlayAsia. So they look nice as well. They got a little slime on the handle and everything. And there's a King Slime one. I like the King Slime one a lot more than the... Uh, stack one but they're both pretty nice so yeah this is the complete tea set for dragon quest you can have the slime teapot and you can have the two mugs to pour your tea into and you do want to have two two teapot tea, teacups when you're pouring this kind of tea from a kusu you're supposed to go back and forth between the two so now i'm going to show you how to make tea using this and i'm not an expert at this nor do i claim to be but i'm going to try my best so you want to use loose tea leaves, so I'm using some green tea leaves from a bag that I just tore and I'm putting them into the strainer. So, yeah, I just want to get as much as you can into there. So, we're shaking it out and focus in a little bit. You can see the tea leaves are sitting right there in the strainer. Uh, yeah, so after this you're going to want to pour in some boiling water. So you want to get some water to a boil while you're doing this and then you're going to want to pour it directly in so right now I've got, I've got my water just pour that in right now all right here we go so we're getting that water into the teapot and you want to pour it pour a decent amount until all the leaves are submerged so about that much I'd say that looks pretty good maybe a little more yeah just a little bit more 
Okay, so now that we have the water in the teapot, and you can see it's really hot water. It's it's to a boil. I brought it to. You want to put the lid on and let the. You just want to let the tea brew for a little, a little bit, for a couple minutes at least. You want to let it set. So I'll just leave it there for a bit. All right. So yeah, it's pretty hot right now. I'm just gonna leave it there. So yeah, uh, you can just let it sit there for a while. It'll steam up a little bit. The teapot will get really hot. You don't need to worry about that too much because the handle is going to prevent you from burning yourself. So what we're going to do here is that you're going to want to hold it by the handle and keep your thumb on top of the lid so the lid doesn't fall off while you're pouring it. So keep your thumb somewhere on the lid and this is kind of how you're supposed to hold the Akusu teapot. So yeah. Now we're going to pour the tea into the teacups, one after the other, and keep going back and forth until it's even. So I pour the tea there, and shit, okay, I'm spilling it everywhere. Okay, uh, I'm just going to pour it back and forth. I'm going to try my best, because this is really, I've never done this before. Yeah, it's spilling all over the table. All right, pouring here, now I'm going to pour in the next teacup. I'm not an expert at this at all. I do not claim to be an expert at it. So I'm sorry if I'm spilling it everywhere, but yeah, this is a good video on how not to make how not to make tea probably. All right, you're going to you want you're going to want to get out the rest of it. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker towards the end because you're getting out the very last bit of the tea. All right, there we go. And there it is. Uh, looks very good appetizing yes uh, yeah I'm not really into green tea that to be honest I, I kind of like regular tea with just cream and sugar but this is nice though so yeah that's the Dragon Quest slime teapot it's a nice little nice little thing to have on your shelf I think I just want to show you how to use it in case anybody out there wants to use it I'm sure there's better tutorials on how to per prepare tea using a teapot like this but I just wanted to give it a try myself and show you guys a little unboxing video of the teapot it's a cool item and everyone was talking about it and everyone's talking about how cool it is and how nice it is and I agree it is nice if you're a Dragon Quest fan you should it's a, it's a nice little thing to have on your shelf and uh, I'd recommend getting it for the price it cost me a little over $25 and PlayAsia was pretty good with shipping it out to me you can probably get it from Amazon Japan as well so yeah uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration video of me using the teapot and spilling it all over my table. And I'll see you guys next time.